back from Graphic Extras. In this video, I'm going to show you that you can actually now save in version 17.1 of Illustrator uh, your settings, various settings, and well, I will actually show you what which ones are actually saved. And obviously, there's many things that are not saved, but you can actually once you've actually saved the settings, you can actually obviously give them to other people and they can use them on their version of Illustrator. So very useful if you're working, say, in a group or something. So next thing to do is actually save them. So edit my settings, export settings, and it will come up and ask to save as a particular, obviously gives you the time, date, etc. Right. So I'm just going to save them. And it says it was exported successfully. Now I can quickly also import them as well. Unfortunately, when you do that, it actually says it will restart Illustrator, which may be something you might not want. But uh, if you're going to do the import settings, it's best to save any documents, etc., and finish all the work. So it just will just restart Illustrator. I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to do that. But I've actually saved the file, so I'm just going to now exit out here and over to the actual settings. Now it's just a zip file. So it doesn't actually seem like a zip file, it's just a file name, but you can actually just go here and just set zip, add, and once you've done that, double click on it, and you will see a folder. Okay, so you've got a folder there, and you will see settings, and as I'm in the UK, en underscore gb, comes up with various cloud preferences, color settings, Modify workspaces, document profiles, which are quite useful, obviously, if you other people, perspective grid presets, variable width profiles, user dictionaries, such as user dictionary, etc. Hyphenations. Right, that basically is all the settings, which, of course, if someone wants to, they can import those and can use exactly what you've actually got as well. Anyway, hope you found this of interest. 